In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the fifth occurrence of an event. This fictitious company was a rent, is a rental uh, equipment rental, and they were trying to encourage their people to do more rentals. And so at the beginning of April, they said that after you've done signed five rental contracts for, for each salesman after they'd signed five rental contracts, then they would get a bonus of uh, $500. Now, we have uh, more than 9,000 lines of, of uh, records. What I did is I wrote a little program. So let's go to sheet two, and I have the list of the employees here. And this is going to tell me the date that they uh, signed the fifth, fifth rental contract. And this is the bonus that they've received just shortly after that date. And so I'm going to go to my macros. And I'm going to run the, the code called bonus. And so there you go. These people were able to do it quite quick. Um, but these last two, they, um, they took them quite a while to, to get five rental contracts done. So now let's look at the code. So I've defined um, my home sheet as the sheet where the, the, the data is going to be deposited, the list of when the bonuses are going to be delivered. And then the other sheet is my worksheet, which is the sheet that has the data on it. So now what we're going to do is we go on the home sheet to find the last row, and that's to find out how many people we have there. And then we're going to select R1. So R is two, so the first column is the name or the, the code for these people, and that is their ID. Now we, um, we activate the data sheet, and then um, I'm formatting the date here. And now we're going to figure out the active, or I'm sorry, the end row for the data sheet so we don't go too far. And then count equals zero. What we're doing is we go with worksheet ranges, um, row number two to end row. And we're in the 10th column because that's where the, the name is located on the sheet. And for what we're doing is we're finding the ID number. And we're doing it by find because it's much quicker than going through it. C is nothing. So if they find it, the first address is the C address. T row is the C row, which is the address of this, this range that they've found. If C, a worksheet, sells T row dot seven equals rental, that's the only type of thing that we're interested in, then the count is going to be one. And then it's end if. So now um, what you're going to do is then you're going to go, we're going to do a do loop here. And we're trying to make sure that it's less than five or less than six so that we get five out of here. So C value equals the ID. You're still looking for the ID. And then um, set C's and you're finding the next C. And then once again, the T row equals C row. If the worksheet T row seven is rental, then L date, the last date was worksheet cells row uh, four value and then the count equals one and so it keeps doing that until it gets to five and then it goes back to our home sheet and it activates it and then it puts in um, the date and then it shows you how I would like the date formatted and then it shows you the bonus that they have earned. I will of course include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.